Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to upgrade the optical drive in a mid-2010 27-inch iMac. We've already shut down and unplugged the iMac, gathered our materials, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. First, we need to remove the front glass. Attach the two heavy-duty suction cups to the upper corners of the front glass of the iMac. Then, gently but firmly pull forward on the handles to separate the glass from the magnets that hold it in. You can then lift the glass up and out of the iMac. At this point, you'll need to be extremely careful not to touch the screen itself as the oil from your fingers is very difficult to remove. Next, we need to remove these eight Torx T10 screws. As many of these screws have magnets right next to them, you may wish to use a pair of tweezers to help remove them from the iMac. Once you've removed the screws, gently pull the screen forward slightly until you can reach in and disconnect the vertical sync cable in the upper left corner by gripping the tabs on either side and sliding it out of its connector. Pull the screen forward a little more and you can disconnect the screen power connector near the bottom left by pushing down on the tab to unlock it and sliding it out. Next, slide the LCD temperature sensor cable out of its socket near the middle of the iMac, much the same way as you did the vertical sync cable. Finally, detach the large DisplayPort cable by squeezing the two sides on the connector and sliding it out. Being careful to only hold the edges of the screen, you can now lift the LCD up and out of the iMac and set it aside. Next, locate the ODD temperature sensor cable near the lower right fan and slide it out of its connector. Then, extract the cable from the channel along the side of the fan so that it hangs loose. Then, remove these four Torx T10 screws holding the optical bay in place. After you've removed the screws, lift up on the rear of the drive and pull the whole assembly back to detach it from the retainer pins. All that's left to do is detach the SATA connector and you can remove the drive assembly from the iMac. Next, we need to remove the original drive from the assembly. First, peel off the pad covering the temperature sensor. Then, gently pry the temperature sensor itself from the optical drive. Be careful as the sensor is likely stuck to the drive quite securely. Next, remove these two Torx T10 screws holding the drive in place. Then, rotate the drive 180 degrees and flip it over to reveal two more Torx T10 screws to remove. Finally, lift the optical drive up from the rear to loosen the foil tape holding the front edge to the carrier, then peel the tape back completely. You should now be able to remove the drive from the bracket. Depending on the optical drive you get, there may or may not be a plastic bezel on the front. If you don't have this plastic bezel, you can proceed right to installing the drive. If you do have a bezel, you'll need to remove it first. To remove the bezel, use a nylon tool or screwdriver to gently undo the tabs around the front of the drive that hold the bezel in place. There are usually two on the top, one on the side, and two more on the bottom. Once these tabs have been released, you should be able to simply slide the bezel off the front of the drive. Your optical drive is now ready to install. 
The two holes in the front of the drive line up with the two square tabs on the drive bracket. Slide the drive into the bracket so that the two square tabs go underneath and latch into the holes on the drive. The three circular tabs will sit on the top. Once you have it lined up, you can reattach the foil tape to the drive. Next, reattach the four Torx T10 screws that hold the drive in place. You may have to adjust the positioning slightly to make sure the holes all line up. Next, reattach the temperature sensor cable in roughly the same spot as it was on the original drive. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Place the foam pad over the sensor, again letting the residual adhesive hold it in place. You can now install the drive assembly back into the iMac. Line up the two holes on the front of the drive assembly with the two pins on the iMac and slide the assembly into place. Next, reattach the SATA connector to the back of the drive, then lay the drive assembly flat into the iMac. You can now replace the four Torx T10 screws that hold the drive assembly in place. Finally, slide the temperature sensor cable back into its connector and run the wire along the channel next to the fan, along with any others that may have come out. Set the LCD in place, again making sure not to touch the screen itself, but don't lean it back. We'll first need to reattach the cables we undid earlier. First, attach the DisplayPort connector on the right by lining up the connectors and sliding them together until they click. Next, slide the temperature sensor cable back into its connector near the center of the iMac. Then, reattach the power supply cable in the lower left by pushing it into place until it clips in. Finally, reattach the vertical sync cable in the upper left by sliding it into place. You can now lay the LCD back so it sits flat in the iMac. To line up the screen, put a thin screwdriver into the top hole on the LCD, then use it to raise the LCD until the second screw holes align. Put one of the Torx T10 screws in to keep it from falling, but don't tighten it all the way. Then, do the same thing on the other side. Now you can replace and tighten all eight screws that hold the screen in place. Set the front glass onto the lower lip of the iMac, making sure the tabs along the bottom all go into their appropriate slots. Then, use a microfiber cloth to make sure no dust is on the screen or inside of the glass. You can now lean the glass back into place until it's attached via the magnets. You may need to squeeze along the top edge near the EyeSight camera to make sure it lays flush. Finally, remove the two suction cups and use your microfiber cloth to wipe any fingerprints or other marks off the front glass. You can now hook your iMac back up, plug it in, and turn it on.